been sitting at your desk all day, your hips are sore, your lower back's probably sore, you're getting up, you're feeling a bit, you know, a bit dusty. So this is five minutes. This is just five minutes of something you can do. Have a bit of a reset, bit of movement, free it up. This won't cure anything. This won't fix anything, but this might just make you feel good. It might just make you want to do a bit more. So here we go. Five minutes on the clock. Should have said this earlier, but you need a book or a block. Thanks, Chloe, for providing this book. I will read it. I guarantee it. So you're going to start with the block on the widest setting. You're going to just shove that between your knees. And you're just going to squeeze it. Big, dig big T with the arms. Let the legs knock from side to side. Just swaying through it. If you come onto the pinky edge side or the blade edge of your feet, that's perfectly fine. If your lower back lifts off the floor, that's also perfectly fine. We're just going, just swinging it ever so uh, mindfully, we don't want to let it completely come out. We can change it now, so we go to the second wider setting, or if you've got your book of choice, maybe even a pillow or a foam roller. Once again, you're just going to let the spine gently lift as the glute lifts off the floor. Keep the shoulders still glued though, as best as you can. Last setting, the narrowest possible, and really just Squeezing it and rock and rolling, resetting that lower back, the spine, creating space. Maybe some cracks, some pops, but we're not crack addicts. Thank you, Gwyn, for that one. We're going to hover the knees up now. We're going to bring it to the medium setting, not the widest. We're going to hover the knees up. And from here, we're just going to turn them outwards, squeezing the block. Hands can go behind the head to support. We need to elongate the neck. And we're just, I'm turning towards the pinky edge side and really squeezing it out there, letting it come back in naturally, squeezing it out, letting it come back in. And once again, if you've got more time, add a couple more reps in there, but if not, I'm really not counting. I'm just feeling it and I'm being very mindful of what I'm feeling as well. So I'm just going to go two more here and last one. Awesome. Put the block to the side for now. You're going to come up into a lunge, or be it a lunge, good for the hips, how good. You're going to come to the inside though of the lunge, I'm just going to have a little bit of a pulse here, I'm keeping the hands on the floor, and then we're going to have a little bit of a straighten in the front leg, coming back to what some people call half splits, and then we're going to come forwards again, just on the inside, and if you need some support here, touching the ground's not available for you, you can put some blocks underneath the hands, bolster, pillows, you know, improvise, we got it. One more time, just gonna pulse that front leg straight, you can keep the toes on the ground, or you can let that heel peel off. So good, let's swap it around there, change the angle, maybe we can see something different in the camera, as the hands come to the inside, just pulsing and flossing on the inside of the leg there. And the leg goes straight. How are we going for time? Coming forwards. Do two more of these. And once again, coming back. So we're going to find our feet now, we're going to come into a forward fold, whatever range is working for you. Knee bend, generous knee bend can be very luxurious for the lower back or the tight hamstrings people out there. Just find a spot that works, and then we'll bring the hands onto the ground. We'll come into a bit of a squat or a crouch if you want to be on your toes. Just resetting the lower back, feeling into it, and then straighten through the legs, let it all hang out. One more just like that, coming down. This is my range of motions right now. I've just been sitting down at work for most of the day. I do get up and move around best I can, but you know we don't all have that luxury all the time. This is my best with my heels on the ground. And I can also explore a bit of this crouch position, coming forwards, making it fun, dancing around. You can connect your breath if you want the full yoga experience, or you can play your favorite tunes if you're limbering up. It's a Friday night, We've got to get that boogie on. Last one, before my timer goes off, we're going to split the legs a little bit wider now. My toes are facing, I guess, like tram tracks facing the same direction. And you're going to pulse down 
and you're going to come into a bit of a high side lunge or yoga turn to call it skandasana and we're going to just floss across melt across feeling what the hips have to offer my knees are generally turning out and my knee alignment is generally over the, my two middle toes there my timer has just gone off I can feel my, my watch pulsing but I'm just going to add one more in there because we're getting into the hips I'm going to turn the feet out almost like a sumo squat I'm sure we've all seen that on TV hands are going to come on top of the quads or the thighs and I'm going to sink into it and just let my booty sink towards the floor letting gravity get in to my hips and if you want a little bit of extra you can drop a shoulder in there my hip actually just cracked I don't know if you can hear that we can flip it up turn it around let the other shoulder melt in drop in maybe go one more each way just because Here we go, slowly walk your feet in, no rush. You have a little bit of a floss out. How are they going? So there we go, that's just five minutes. That's it, reset, do that, go back to work, go pick up the kids, whatever you gotta do. Enjoy, thanks.